Lunokhod 1, Lunokhod Moon Walker in Russian, Operat 8L203, Vehicle 8L203 was the first of two unmanned lunar rovers landed on the Moon by the Soviet Union as part of its Lunokhod program. The Luna 17 spacecraft carried Lunokhod 1 to the Moon in 1970. Lunokhod 1 was the first remote-controlled robot rover to freely move across the surface of an astronomical object beyond the Earth. Lunokhod 0, number 201, the previous and first attempt to do so, launched in February 1969 but failed to reach orbit. Although only designed for a lifetime of three lunar days, LUNOKHOD-1 operated on the lunar surface for 321 days, 11 lunar days, and traversed a total distance of 10.54 kilometers. Topic: <laughs> Rover description. Lunokhod-1 was a lunar vehicle formed of a tub-like compartment with a large convex lid on eight independently powered wheels. Its length was 2.3 meters 7 feet 7 in. Lunokhod was equipped with a cone-shaped antenna, a highly directional helical antenna, four television cameras, and special extendable devices to test the lunar soil for soil density and mechanical properties. An X-ray spectrometer, an X-ray telescope, cosmic ray detectors, and a laser device were also included. The vehicle was powered by batteries which were recharged during the lunar day by a solar cell array mounted on the underside of the lid. To be able to work in a vacuum special fluoride-based lubricant was used for the mechanical parts and the electric motors one in each wheel hub were enclosed in pressurized containers. During the lunar nights, the lid was closed and a polonium-210 radioisotope heater unit kept the internal components at operating temperature. Lunokhod-1 was intended to operate through three lunar days approximately three Earth months but actually operated for 11 lunar days. Topic. Launch and lunar orbit Luna 17 was launched on November 10, 1970 at 14 hours 44 minutes and 1 second coordinated universal time. After reaching Earth parking orbit, the final stage of Luna 17's launching rocket fired to place it into a trajectory towards the Moon the 10th of November 1970 at 1454 coordinated universal time. After two course correction maneuvers on November 12 and 14, it entered lunar orbit on November 15, 1970 at 2200 coordinated universal time. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Landing and surface operations. The spacecraft soft landed on the moon in the Sea of Rains on November 17 at 347 coordinated universal time. The lander had dual ramps from which the payload, Lunokhod 1, could descend to the lunar surface. At 6.28 UT the rover moved onto the moon's surface. The rover would run during the lunar day, stopping occasionally to recharge its batteries via the solar panels. At night the rover hibernated until the next sunrise, heated by the radioactive source. 1970 November 17 to 22, the rover drives 197 meters, returns 14 close-up pictures of the moon and 12 panoramic views during 10 communication sessions. It also conducts analyses of the lunar soil. December 9, 22 to 1522 M1971. January 8, 22 1936 M. February 8, 19 to 1573 M. March 9, 20 to 2004 M. April 8, 22, 1029 M. May 7, 22, 197 M. June 5, 18 to 1559 M. July 4, 17 to 220 M. August 3, 16 to 215 M. August 31st to September 14th, 88 meters. Topic. End of mission and results Controllers finished the last communications session with Lunokhod 1 at 13.05 UT on September 14, 1971. Attempts to re-establish contact were finally discontinued and the operations of Lunokhod 1 officially ceased on October 4, 1971, the anniversary of Sputnik 1. 
During its 322 Earth days of operations, Lunokhod 1 traveled 10,540 meters (6.55 miles) and returned more than 20,000 TV images and 206 high-resolution panoramas. In addition, it performed 25 lunar soil analyses with its RIFMA X-ray fluorescence spectrometer and used its pentrometer at 500 different locations. Topic: <laughs> Current location. The final location of Lunokhod 1 was uncertain until 2010, as lunar laser ranging experiments had failed to detect a return signal from it since 1971. On March 17, 2010, Albert Abdrakhamov found both the lander and the rover in Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Image M1141855541 RC. In April 2010, the Apache Point Observatory Lunar Laser Ranging Operation Apollo team from the University of California at San Diego used the LRO images to locate the orbiter closely enough for laser range distance measurements. On April 22, 2010 and days following, the team successfully measured the distance several times. The intersection of the spheres described by the measured distances then pinpoint the current location of Lunokhod 1 to within 1 meter. Apollo is now using Lunokhod 1's reflector for experiments, as they discovered, to their surprise, that it was returning much more light than other reflectors on the Moon. According to a NASA press release, Apollo researcher Tom Murphy said, We got about 2,000 photons from Lunokhod 1 on our first try. After almost 40 years of silence, this rover still has a lot to say. By November 2010, the location of the rover had been determined to within about a centimeter. The location near the limb of the Moon, combined with the ability to range the rover even when it is in sunlight, promises to be particularly useful for determining aspects of the Earth Moon system. In a report released in May 2013, French scientists at the Cote d'Azur Observatory, led by Jean Marie Torre, reported replicating the 2010 laser ranging experiments by American scientists after research using images from the NASA Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. In both cases, laser pulses were returned from the Lunokhod 1 retroreflector. See also Lunokhod 2 Exploration of the Moon Rover Space Exploration Timeline of Russian Inventions and Technology Records References External links Zarya, Lunokhod 1 Chronology Lunar and Planetary Department Moscow University Lunokhod 1 Page NSSDC Master Catalog, Spacecraft, Luna 17, Lunokhod 1 Other Soviet Lunar Missions Don P. Mitchell's Catalog of Soviet Moon Images including Lunokhod 1 Image from Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Old Moon Rover Beams Surprising Laser Flashes to Earth LUNOKHOD 1 Traverse Map Landing Site Luna 17 PDF Moscow State University of Geodesy and Cartography Migake, German Aerospace Center DLR 2012 Archived PDF from the original on the 22nd of February 2013 Retrieved the 24th of August 2014